Yeah, guys, welcome to this week's podcast. Um, we might as well start off with the best game of the weekend, possibly the best game of the season so far. Um, but firstly, how are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Nice, we won Quality. this week. Right, so City, Man City, 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 Man City, City, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Um, I had that game to be a slow burner. I said this to Ben, and then probably end up being a two-one City. Um, I don't think anyone saw four-four, did they? Not even close, no. I expected it to be a complete whitewash from City. I expected them to walk all over Chelsea, and I was so wrong. No, I, ex- I expected Chelsea to have a good like half an hour or something, then City to just turn the, the screw in the second half is what I thought. Yeah, yeah, completely. Um, I'll tell you what, might as well start off. The Haaland penalty, are we saying it's a penalty? Yeah, I don't know. I, nah. My, no. my my thing is in Jamie Carragher pointing it out is Haaland's pulled Kukurea to get in front of him and then Kukurea's just kept a hold of him to try and keep, keep well and then Haaland's fell down. So it then stems from Haaland fouling Kukurea. So it depends how far you go back, to, to be honest. So I'm going to go three ways with this. I don't think it's a penalty, but I understand there are penalties these days. Yeah, and then I also understand as well that if VAR didn't call it a penalty, it wouldn't have been. Sorry, if if it wasn't called a penalty, VAR I don't think would have overturned it. And if yeah. it was a penalty, I don't think VAR are ever going to overturn it anyway. It's one of those. It's one yeah. of those horrible grey area ones where you're never going to know. Um, but just what's Kukurea doing anyway? To be completely honest with you, I don't see. I, I hate this. I hate that terminology. But why are you giving the referee a decision to make a chance? Uh, 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 giving them a chance to make a decision. Um, oh, it was, I agree with you. It was, it was fucking stupid from Kukurea, but like, I think it was just because he couldn't keep up with him and he just couldn't match him physically. Yeah, but Haaland's physically yanked him, like, yanked him forward and him back is the problem. And then Kukurea just kept a hold of him. And then Haaland's went down as if fucking he's been two footed at the knee like his fucking dad was. I can't it's nice I mean. to see though. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up as well when we when we look at West Ham. It's nice to see how much contact Harland takes to go down and he gets awarded with stuff. But I'm gonna bring up the West Ham game later on today, uh, later on this pod, because the referee and again is completely all over the gaff. Um, one player I'd like to mention: Raheem Sterling for the Chelsea game. Uh, Fucking we, we, unbelievable. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, the penalty was easy. He was never gonna miss, was he? No. No, never. I don't know. He's he's met if it he's gonna be the next or better than Lewandowski, the way things are going. There's no way he's missing that then. No way. Yeah, but when when he started taking penalties, everyone thought he was gonna score every one. A positive in his last like ten, he's missed two or three. I think it might just be a blip in form. I in all honesty, I don't see him having issues dropping some of that. I, would well, I, I said he yeah, had a blip on form last week, and I was I was a stupid thing to say. Yeah, because he like, two goals this week. Penalties are diff- different, in my opinion, because like Mark Noble missed next to no penalties, but he could have a different form on the pitch. But you put him on the penalty spot, it didn't I, matter. I've said this the whole time. I wouldn't. I don't pick my. I wouldn't pick a striker to go um, a penalty kick taker. I choose. I choose more of a. It's more up here than. Anyone can score a penalty. It's more who takes. I'd actually, I'd love to see um, uh, what Rodri's conversion rate would be because I think he just score every single one. Oh, he's, yeah, because any more laid back would be on the floor. He's, yeah. he's so calm. Um, going to the uh, the first Chelsea goal. I mean, that corner. I partially want to give kudos for the fact that like it's a good delivery, but also as well, I think that's Chelsea's best header of the ball in Thiago Silva, and they aren't even marking him. Like, and it's the smallest man, and he's at the front post, and he's one ahead. Of. Like, how does that happen? Like, yeah, it just, it just shouldn't. There's so much as City at the moment. I just don't understand. I know they go through this. They go through this weird thing where they only really turn up in between February and March, or May, and then win the league. But like, they're just good anyway. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah. there's so many. There's so many points at the moment. You look at them, and it's like I might as well. I might as well go into it. Is the uh, the Sterling goal. Guardiola needs to hang his head in shame. I mean, if that don't... was... Sorry. I, I'm just going to say, I don't know what he, was, what he was trying to do. Just let it run out. Like, oh, it just baffles me now. Like, there, There's no reason 
of just keeping it in. Yeah. Um, obviously, the ball across is lovely, but Reese James isn't going to miss that, giving it to Sterling, is he? That's that's just all day, all night. Yeah. Um, Sterling celebrating in front of the City fans. Thought that was going to happen. Could have seen that happening. Just it was yeah. always going to happen, wasn't it? He kind of gets um, props for it. I get it. Yeah, I mean, it was. It, to be fair, as I said, it was. It was an easy finish. But it was a good finish. You had to be there to score it, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, it was. It was one of those celebrations where it was celebrating, but it wasn't celebrating. Yeah. But but the celebration behind it, he was celebrating. It was one of those he was trying to be respectful at the same time. He wasn't. He was. He was just celebrating the goal. I think he celebrated them. Thought, oh no, I won't celebrate. He's played for them. Thought, mm, fuck a match. Yeah, we'll celebrate. Yeah. It was a. Uh... Uh, it was an odd one. Um, how Harland hasn't scored that second one, by the way, when he's cut in, grabbed it, and and put it. What a save from Sanchez! I don't think I've seen him make a better save <laughs> at Brighton or at fucking Chelsea. He's uh, no, no, he's showing worth their money at the moment. Anyway, I bet they ain't. I bet they ain't missing Kepper or Mendy saying that. No, I think both of them will be spending a lot of time on the bench if he keeps going like this. Can catch a cold, could they? Even one of them. He, but here's a little fun fact I've seen on another fucking video. Sanchez has recorded the fastest sprint in the Premier League this season. What game was it against? Uh, I don't can. It was whatever game it was where he's sprinting back from from the opponent's penalty box. So fucking. Oh, I, 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 I think it was Brentford. I think it was Brentford. I said it's a fucking letdown if the keeper's got the quickest sprint. The fuck happened? Yeah, no, Carl Walker's <laughs> not. go slow this year. He dropped his pace, that's what it is. Oh, well, um, right. He's actually sec- just going off his FIFA card. Yeah. <laughs> um, second half early on, Harlan just does what Harlan does, doesn't he? Missed that second chance in the first half. I think we were on about it the other week. Who was it against? Um, Man United, where he made the wrong type of header. Second yeah. half, first attempt, guess what? Right, it's the wrong scores. Yeah. It's like he just, he, he just does that, doesn't he? That's... I mean... Another good shot. Carl Palmer. Oh. Yeah. Just. I think it was stupid for City to let him leave, in all, in all, in my opinion. I think when Ronaldo went. Silva moves, moves on, he could have easily filled that role. I get why he went, because he wanted more first-team football. It makes sense. But... I, don't, I don't see any back draw, because if he improves at Chelsea, he's going to want to come go back at City at some point, and City have a buyback clause, apparently, where if they match someone else's offer, they've got him. And that means they can just let someone else do all the legwork. I don't know, say buy Munich or whoever. Oh, look, he's sent me a pound price tag. No worries, we'll buy that. See you later. Cole Palmer's back. Thanks for your experiences in at Chelsea. Um, but no, I get your point. But also as well, it's like, it's the same with Acho. They thought he was good, but they thought he weren't ready for first team football. So they've let him go because... Slightly different. No, but Cole Palmer's not getting in that first team at the moment for City. No, no, that's what I said. When Bernardo Silva moves on, he it was an easy slot in replacement, in my opinion. Is he not signed a new contract though for another two years? I think he has, but I mean, Cole Palmer's only what twenty one, twenty. He's young, yeah. No, I, yeah, I get he's your point. Old, I, like. I don't think he's a box to box though. Man, no, but at the same time, Bernardo Silva for most of the Chelsea game. He wasn't playing the box to box. He was mostly sitting halfway to the opponent's box and just picking the ball up at halfway, just driving. I, I think he's too much like Foden, or he's too much like what Pep wants Foden to be, which is why he doesn't want to keep. Well, he didn't want to keep him. Um, and he's just got a favourite in Foden. He just loves a bit of Foden. Got to yeah. ask because I want I want your opinion on it, right? Frank Gallagher, should he got a card or not? Not Frank, sorry. Frank Gallagher. You mean Conor Gallagher? That's fucking shameless, isn't it? <laughs> fucking Conor Gallagher. <laughs> I'm sure he played for West Ham in the 50s, did he not? I thought Frank Gallagher was a thing of shameless, but we'll go with that. It is. Oh, it is. There you go. Yeah, 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 I knew yeah. it was. Um, Conor Gallagher. Um, should have got carded at least once. Yes. He was clumsy as fuck all game. How he didn't see yellow, I have no idea, because he what? was just... Uh, <laughs> He's he's made one challenge to stop the counter, and then about a minute later, he's made the exact same challenge, and it's just like, well, you could have went for the ball, so we'll just we'll yeah, just give it a free kick. The ball, either time. I missed it. I missed it completely. I don't know about Conor Gallagher. Was that a good strike for the third goal? Was that just Emerson showing why he's not? Uh, sorry, Emerson. I'm I'm doing it as well. Edison 
not as good as Allison. Is that just the showcase and point for that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think you've got. I, I think some of it's because he. When you look at Edison three seasons ago, you what put I mean in... is, it's at, his, it's at his hands, right? It's genuinely he, he's called it flush on his hands. Why he's not caught it, I do not understand. I would actually back Ariola to make that safe. And I don't think he's had the best time recently. When I first saw it, I thought, fuck me, what a save. And then you look at the replays and he's not at full stretch. He's still got his tiptoes on the on the ground. I mean, if you go back a couple of seasons, De Gea made them almost an identical save and Roy Keane had a fucking field day and was like, he's a keeper. He's supposed to make those saves. And if he's not making those saves, he shouldn't be in goals. And yeah, I kinda, I think... it kind of reminisces with that. I think, I think Pep needs to look for a replacement in him in a couple of years. Or maybe maybe the end of this year. I I don't see him. I, I like him and I think he's brilliant on his feet, but I think with his hands, I just don't rate him as much. His sister just deteriorated really quickly. Big statement. I think Aaron Ramsdale is a better shop stopper than Edison. I don't think that's a crazy Ooh. thing to say. Maybe not not now. I think two years ago I'd have called you nuts, but not now. Gav's not agreeing. I don't know if I agree or not. I mean, it's because I watched the boy week and week out and it's a fucking... Sometimes it can be brilliant, sometimes it can be an absolute fucking bomb scare. I think shot stopper, um, I don't think there's even... I, I don't think Edison's even in the top five shot stoppers in the league. I think well, the Hayes is a better shot stopper than Edison right now. I don't trust think... him playing football. Yeah. But I trust the Hayes to save that. Yeah. Nick Pope, Ramsdale, not Pope, Royer, yeah. but. Allison. Yeah, you saved Raya. Raya made a good save at the weekend. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll go into it. Just, just, just the one save. Well, I, I just want to say as well, two things. It'll be Mikey Magna and that fucking City go for because why not? He's good, at, he's good at FIFA. And two, if they've ruled out Haaland's second goal when they're sliding across the line and the ball's catching up him and it hits his elbow, if that gets ruled out, I'm not watching any more Premier League this season. Like, that would have been the final straw. If they've ruled that out because it's tapped him on the elbow when he's already in the fucking goal, then that, nah. like, just that. Nah. That would have been the final nail in the coffin for me. If it was against you, would you want it to be hammered? No, 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 no. I, I mean, I can be biased towards Arsenal. I can, pull, I can get that. I think most fans are when it's during the game. But it's a fact that Haaland's off the pitch. He's in the fucking goal. And I don't know where he's meant to put his elbow because it, it, I think if you watch the replay, he's, he's scuffling along trying to avoid the ball, but if that hits his elbow, there's no way they can say it's a handball or it's an an, an unnatural position. What's he meant to do? Just fucking silly salmon on the fucking on the floor. Like it's not gonna happen. Um there's not many other points I'd like to carry out. Just how good Roger is. But that's just Yeah. It same just old, yeah. Same old, isn't it? You nailed it when we were watching the game though. It's just always there for him, isn't it? It just doesn't just seem to matter. It... It's whenever they seem to need a winner. I know, obviously, yeah. it turns out it wasn't the winner, but like whenever they seem to need a goal like that, Champions League final yeah. goal, he just he just does it. Them not needing the winner was Ruben Diaz's fault for fucking giving away a stupid fucking penalty. Yeah. I was going to bring that up. So, so just to quickly summary, <laughs> uh, summarize the City third goal, it's a it's a nice goal. Deflections are horrible, and I think Sanchez yeah. is probably racing to the putting his foot in. I think Sanchez gets it if it's not a deflection. That's that's the yeah, but I mean you'd be moaning if the defender didn't attempt to get it. it it's Completely. six, it's six and two threes. It's like yeah, either defender goes for it and a free cocks and happens, or you let the keeper get in and he could possibly just fuck it up and it goes in. It, and then when everything looks fine and City's winning four three, <laughs> Ruben Diaz, the best centre back in the Premier League. Decides to slow motion go into Bro Brozier's leg. I, I, I'm one of those. It's like I want to call it a penalty, but also as well, I feel like Brozier's completely waited to take his shot because yeah. he knows the contact's coming in. It's smart by him. It's 100 percent smart by him to, What's to wait for the to do though. Is he oh, just to stand back up and go? Sorry, lad. Go on. Stand up. You're a big. You're a big fucking guy. Otherwise, he's six. Six three. He's no. He's no fucking small. He's no Thiago Silva. He can easily just hard him off because you had Rodri coming in as well to to kind of help out. I think he's he should have pressured him into feet. taking the shot rather so than going with full contact. He needs to pressure him into taking the shot and just see if he releases. Because you, like you said, Rodri's waiting for contact. If you pressure him into making the shot, and try and drive him out of the box. 
I think he's just going to hit and hope and it's just going to go fucking flying. So is it a penalty? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. A I don't know if I agree. I just don't think he gets any of the ball. Yeah, I, I always look at this though in a sense that if it was West Ham, I'd be happy with it. And I'd be fucking livid with it. If yeah, it was but that's what I mean. But that's because... what I mean. Like, when it's your team, you always want it to go the opposite way. No, but, but, no, but that's if... why... That... I, I try and look at it as a non-biased West Ham fan, even as that. What I mean is it, it's so slow. He's not done enough to push Brozier over, is my point. By the time he's hit Brozier's leg, I don't think it's done enough for him to go and dead fish down. But I understand why he's done it at the same time. I think I'd be more angry if West Ham gave that away because of the fact that it just, it just comes in a sort of defender's yeah. part. I just, yeah. it, 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 that's, that's all it is. A couple of years ago. St. James yeah. Park, uh, St. Uh, Stanford Bridge when he done it. It's not a yeah. rough bit of contact, and it's not it's not malicious or anything like that. It's just nah. stupid. It's just it's enough, and he got none of the ball. And it was just why you're making that. Why hasn't he made that five yards back where he's just outside the box? Clear yeah. that. If you want to fucking go for him, go through him. But why the fuck you wait until he gets in the box and just go go on him? And why it, it just made no sense. So me. many goals. Huh? Why are City shipping so many goals? I, 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 I love I just, the silence. I, you know what, mate? I think, I think it's... Edison's got to be a, a factor to it. But at the back at the moment, mate, they don't look solid. And I don't know what it is. They just, they just don't, and it doesn't make sense. I don't know what it is. I, like, I'm trying to think. Is it because they're pushing higher up, higher up at the, on the pitch? But then... Both those goals didn't really come from that. It just came from... Do you know what it feels like to me? <laughs> Once their initial press is beaten, they're done. They look. They always look like they're chasing then. There's no like counter press. There's no second press. It's a first press on, their, on the back line, whoever they're playing. And if you play over that or play around it, they're naff. You know what it kind of feels like as well, and this might be a bad take, and I could get a few screwed up faces here. But I feel City's defense are just individuals; they don't actually defend together. You've got Walker that just sort of does whatever he does. You don't like Walker? It, just put that as no, well. no, I don't like him anyway. But no, he does whatever he does. But the left backs always constantly change. And one week it's Vardy, the next week it's a country, the week after that it's Rico Lewis. It's so many players, and then. Ruben Diaz and again, who's next to him? Like it's 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 too changing every week, and I think that can have a factor because last year it was so fixed. It was always Walker, uh, Stones, and uh, Ruben Diaz. You know what I mean? It was always those yeah. three. Is Stones re-injured then? Is he? Or um, I think he got a little knock. Did he? Do you think it's a mentality so. thing as well? Do you think they lost their heads towards the end of the game? I, I, no. don't, I don't know. I, I genuinely... Look I, at Walker. Did, yeah, was, yeah, that's a joke. I've never seen him like that. mental. And... To be fair, Walker was doing that all second half. I think it was a minute into the second half and he's feeling cleared out Conor Gallagher. I think, no, it was Sterling. He's absolutely fucking yeah. white, damn. I love but what I mean though. is, he's, he's, the, he's the oldest player on the pitch, I think. And you sit there and you no. go, right, it's, huh? No, what, for, for City, he's got to be the oldest oh, player on the pitch. I was going to say by a mile, Thiago Silva. Go on. Oh, yeah. So, but what I mean is, he's the <laughs> oldest player in, on the pitch for City. So you sit there and you think, right, all the youngsters, the first thing they're going to be looking at is his reaction. And <laughs> by like 60 minutes, he's fucking lost it. And he's having a pop at everyone. And you just sit yeah, there I don't going, know if oh, he's the role model it, type captain. I don't know if he's the role model type of captain. He's very much kind of just everyone else do their own performances. He's not really like... That's what I mean, though. He does his thing. And anyone else does their thing, like in defence wise, Which he's the just there. It, he's going tits at everyone. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I said this since last year. I, I know Gary Neville came out and said this is his favourite City team. It's nowhere near it for me. I think Haaland, he Pep Guardiola sacrifices so much by having Haaland up front. Mm -hmm. It ruins their build up play. I know he's a forty goal season striker, and everyone will want to try and fit him in, and I get that. But he ruins the way they play, and, and he can't drop him. Because you, cause you just can't. You can't drop No, because if he gets in front of the goal, it's a goal. Well, he had a poor game last week. Now he scores two goals. You just, mm -hmm. From what? Three opportunities. You just can't do it. That's what I was meaning last week. I want to clarify that. He had, a, he had he didn't have a good game, but I wasn't saying he was a shit player because he could easily do it this week. No, but, but that's what I'm last saying. Last week you, he right? was poor. And yeah, I feel when he's poor, other 
players need to have a ten out of ten no, performance. It's, no, it's, it's the way that City play at the moment that he gets the opportunities and that's it. Mm. And it, um, and it, and if anyone else scores, I feel like it's just it's just full, it, like it's like Rodri. It fell to him. But then Never he to, then then Guardiola needs to look at last week and go when Haaland came off the pitch, we scored goals. So yeah. beat Bournemouth six one. Yep, yep, it's Bournemouth. I mean, City should be beating Bournemouth, but Haaland struggled to tear him off. And the goals just flooded in. Let's be real. Harlan came in to beat a low block. He he mm. came in to beat a low block and a, and and equally a very high line. When it's kind of in the middle and it's pressing football like Chelsea were doing all over the pitch, he's useless because he doesn't drop in to receive the ball because he can't because he's just not he's not that sort of player. Um, and you see it. You, you see that hole. Mm-hmm. Every single time they go up, it, they, there's no option. They turn around and pass it into Rodri's feet because there's no, yeah. there's no like Jesus that comes slightly over to the left wing to pick it up and and put it back around the corner or something. It, it, no one's there. At, at, at Dortmund, all Dortmund, or not all Dortmund could do, but when Haaland wasn't having a good game, all they used to do is over the top, let Haaland run. City don't do that, and I think Haaland sometimes is calling for it, and then when he's not getting it. He just sort of stands still and he's like, "Don't give me the ball when I when when I need to, when I need a goal." And yep. it's like, it, uh, for me, do, would I take Holland in the Arsenal squad? Absolutely, but his mentality is sometimes I wouldn't take. See, because he he think he, he thinks he's entitled to get the ball and he's entitled to take the shot just because of how good he is. Do you he get what Carragher said last that. year when he said he picked the wrong team? Nah, I to do. be honest, I, I completely understand it. I think if he goes to uh, a Liverpool, um, he probably scores more goals. Yeah, because they play over the top a lot more, play over the top and play a lot more into space and play a lot more driven crosses in. I mean, you think of how many how many assists Robertson and Trent have got in the last couple of seasons, and you're saying Haaland would score more goals than that Liverpool team. I think he would, but I think his attitude would still be the fucking same. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, it's like Liverpool wouldn't look, Liverpool wouldn't look at a place with City with uh, Haaland in that team. No, 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 they, absolutely they don't, not. They don't play the slow build up. They play quick build up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. City try and do this slow build up with uh, with Igor the Giant up front. <laughs> it just doesn't work sometimes. It just uh, doesn't, though, does it? Uh, I've never heard of Haaland at the first as Igor. Deeply missing De Bruyne. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, but that's that's are, a given, isn't it? Like, he's just world class. He's oh, he's best midfielder in the Premier League by far. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Odegaard was better last year, by the way. Just to put that out there, lads. The fuck did I say this? <laughs> um, just last question on that: uh, How good are Chelsea? I think it's our turning point. I see. I I think the problem is they've had this good a game against City, and they could turn around and say play us next. Or play a shit ass team and absolutely shit the bed. And I don't think they, they, I don't think there's consistency yet. So I don't is, want to say that they've turned it around yet. Will there ever be consistency? I have this no. thing. They remind me so much of Poch's Spurs. There's never any consistency. You never know what's going to turn up. No. No. I, so, I, I would like to see what happens. And who have they got next? Does anyone know? Who Chelsea? <laughs> um, Chelsea have next Newcastle at St James's Park. See, that will be an interesting one. Because Newcastle no, how many, how many injuries Newcastle have you put if I Newcastle get papped? I, 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 going off what I said, and I said I think it'll be a turning point. Because if you look before the Spurs game, even uh, if you look before the Spurs game, they weren't doing what they've done the past two games. They haven't been playing, right, we'll, we'll play it over the top to Sterling, we'll let them run. It was all this uh, uh, City yes, but. We'll, one to it, and we'll, we won't get anywhere. We'll one to it. We'll keep doing it and doing it. I think when they played Spurs, they realised what was working for them and what was the player's strengths, and if they've just built on that. I know it's only right. three games, but I think they can actually go on and perform like that week in week out. It's pace, isn't it? That's what that's, that's what they have in abundance in that whole it, team. They have it's pace. Connor Gallagher forward. It sounds stupid because it because he is more like on a he's better in the halfway. Well, people think he's better in the halfway, but when he's forward, he gives them an extra option. 
give me the ball, play over the top, give me the ball, take a shot, give me the ball, do something with it. He's always wanting to develop the play. He's not one of those where it's like Fabio Vieira, for instance, he'll get the ball Full and he'll ju- he just kind of blooks and then he does it. Holger knows what he's getting before he does it. I, th- I think he's very crucial for Chelsea at the moment. I don't rate him as highly as that, but I can understand your rating of him. Um, Anything else, Ben? Yes. <laughs> but I, I, no, I, I just don't think... I think there are 40 Conor Gallagher's in this Premier League at the moment. That's probably a bit of an overstatement. 20 Conor Gallagher's in this Premier League at the moment. I don't think that Chelsea team would be any different with a James Ward Prass in there or a Sean Longstaff oh, or something dude. like that. I just, what does Conor Gallagher bring? He's got legs. Well done. No, I've got the same opinion of Havertz kind of weeks ago. Same opinion of Conor Gallagher. He brings legs. All he is is running. The, th- the thing with James Ward-Prowse though and Conor Gallagher is I feel James Ward-Prowse is that a little bit slower. Mm-hmm. He likes to take his time on it. But that's what I mean why Conor Gallagher is doing well at Chelsea is because he's doing it instant. He's doing it so quick. You want it over the top, I'll give it over the top. Sterling, you want it, I'll give it to you. He- there's no time thinking. Like when, they took the- when he took the shot, he took one touch, gone. It was at his feet. When it, if it was Harvard, he's touched it, he's touched it, he's touched it. Or Ward Prowse, he's, he's touching it, he's looking for the man. He doesn't necessarily know where the man is. He needs to get his head up and look where Conor Gallagher is. He just knows what the runs are. It's like an NFL playbook. Right, okay, well, yeah, we'll skip over that because we don't talk about that stuff. Um, we'll go to Arsenal Burnley because, I mean, we might as well cover it because he's in his Arsenal top today. I'm in my Arsenal top every week. Um, pretty comfortable in it. I was never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what you yeah, get from the title can, contenders. You can look at that, and I mean, based on Burnley's performance, they don't have anything going forward, and their best striker is now out with mental health. Which fair play to him for taking the time out of the game and actually realizing he needs he needs time away from the game. Fair play. But he's the best striker they've got. They're, he's the best chance of them scoring goals. And he, he wasn't there. So that's why I say it was never in doubt. So I don't feel they were going to threaten us at all. So to go off the... Uh, go off the... If you just run us through the game. Yeah. Well, oh. so it was a three o'clock kickoff. Right, pick, drink beer first, son. It's all right. I will do. You caught us off guard there, son. Uh, it was a three o'clock kickoff. So, I mean, I, I, caught, the, I caught the highlights of it. And it just felt like we were doing what we haven't, what I've been crying out for weeks. Just get the ball in the box. Doesn't matter how we get in, just get it in the box. Um, Declan Rice had another good performance again. Saliba scored a goal. I think he has now more goals than Anthony this season. Um, <laughs> not hard to fucking beat. One. Yeah. <laughs> um. It's over. So, Saliba. I, it just makes the Arsenal defence just more solid. I think if you didn't have him in defence, we're just looking goals left, right, and centre. Well, so I was going to say that I, I I only caught the highlights. I didn't catch the game. I think overall the defence looked fine. Tommy Asu looked fucking dog shit. What is he doing for <laughs> that first goal? Oh, it's I a just, goal. Yeah. I, for for Burnley, it's a goal. It absolutely is a goal because he's holding the Burnley player as he's falling down. <laughs> it, it's a fact that he's holding him. He's holding him. And the Burnley fan, uh, the Burnley fan, the Burnley player just went nope and just got inside. And I've seen some fans go, "Oh, he dragged him down. It should have been a foul." In my opinion, Tommy Asu needs to be more fucking solid when it comes to holding up the ball. And I don't understand it because he came in. He was a right back. He's been playing. He played right back and didn't have a good game. He's been playing left back. We've been fucking phenomenal. Like, how does like have we sorted what's going to happen when Timber comes back? Is Timber going to be the right back and is Tommy Ars going to be the left back, or what's going to happen here? See I'm the, excited uh, to see what happens there. See the uh, the Saliba goal, the corner. I brought it up a couple of weeks ago. I don't know when you lot became good at corners. You know, must have been watching West Ham from last year. But I mean that I think we were almost a. The, the top team to score goals for corners last year. I think he's blocking the keeper. Wait. Saliba. No. 
Dang, he so. goes in the goal, out of the goal, and pushes the keeper back and then headers it in. Should the keeper not be stronger then? Oh, I completely agree. No, no, I completely agree. I think That's goalkeepers saying... are, are too much of a protected species. But I think on the uh, on the balance of play and usually what refs call it, I think that's a disallowed goal. If it, if it was like what Ben White normally does and he's at the keeper and he's holding the glove and he's making sure he stands there, completely gay. The fact that Saliba is running, he, he's, he's running in and out. He's trying to make the space. He's trying to get away from the defender. The keeper should... This is the problem I have with it. It's because keepers look for the contact. And then they go down with fucking Rapunzel. Like, I was going to say, if he went down, like that. if the goalkeeper went down and made a meal out of it, I think it's a disallowed goal. That's what I was trying to get at. I, I don't believe it should have been, but oh, I was just yeah. asking if he was blocking it, him or not. If, if you go off these new fucking stupid goalkeepers or endangered species, then yeah, it's, it's not a goal. But the fact that Saliba hasn't done anything wrong, he's a bit... It's like when you look at Fellaini back in the day, he always got criticised for his height. No, no. But he was one of those players, whenever there was a little bit of contact that always got given against him because of oh, because of his yeah. fucking tall, his tallness, and he was, to be fair, it was just a bit of a, a we, prick. We, we, we get it now. It just follows David Moyes, to be honest with you. But I think, yeah, yeah that's oh, Saliba. Though, Edder was clean as you like. It was lovely. Yeah, they just yeah no, no, no like, it, was, it was a lovely header. My point is, though, he, he, I, I don't think it's a foul... But this is what annoys me. I'm going to keep on saying this until the PGML will come on here and explain themselves. Is I don't understand the inconsistency of it. Because if they're all refereeing to the same quality, I don't understand how that isn't a foul just because the, re- because the keeper hasn't made a meal out of it. But the other ones are when, to be honest with you, it's just a joke. Some it, of the contact. It's not just the keepers as well. Because just going off what you said, we all moan about diving in the game and all this, and I'm not going to talk about Arsenal players because they take it to the next fucking extreme. But when they're in the when players are in the box and they go down and they're like and they're fucking clinching their knee and they've had a fucking toe tap, they're only doing that to try and sway the keep uh, the the ref to get the penalty. So then, if the refs don't give the penalty, then surely that stops. Like you know I'm, what I mean. I'm going to bring this up as well at the West Ham game because <laughs> it's yep. just not a good idea. It's kind of is. Was the red card a red card, Gav? Yes. Do you think? Yes. See, I <laughs> don't. I don't no? think there was enough in it. I don't think Fabio Vieira should have got his marching orders. Explain I think he should be the yellow. Nah, he's off. Explain yourself, Ben. So I watched it, and then I watched it again and again. And I get where he makes contact, but it looks it looks like he just like gives him a little stroke did of them. Did you get the it. vital point of the fact that his studs are at the geezer's fucking thigh? I mean, yeah, I, I would say knee. But the, my my point is, if he's went in right and it's in his legs straight the whole way, and there's no push, there's no force, I could get him possibly a yellow for it for like why it was. But the problem was, is he's actually extended towards to get it. So he could go, I'm only doing that to get the ball. But the also the same thing is, where's the ball in the scenario? Oh, he doesn't win the ball. <laughs> and I def- he's definitely a foul. I don't, I just think, don't think he's near the player. It for a no, it's not near the player, though. He's about a foot and a half away from the ball. Yeah. I, I like, genuinely he's not don't, I don't, the ball. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think there was enough in it for it to be a red. Oh, I don't know, it's definitely a rest. Now I'm not really here. It's a dangerous goal. challenge. Yeah. I just don't, it didn't look like there was enough contact in it for me for it to be a dangerous no, challenge. No, that, no, no, but we were on about it a couple of weeks ago, intent, right? Like, and it's at the geezer's knee, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but he literally, it's like he's looking goes like that. Just literally, literally no, like but that. He's at, ge- at the geezer's knee. Right. So, two seconds, we'll, we'll roll back the clock here. That shark had done that challenge. What's happening? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just he's saying. He's sent off because he's a cunt. That's why he's getting nah, sent that, off. That was Harvard, Stu. You're mixing up the fucking players, boy. Yeah, right. but he runs. Yeah, That's exactly. what Jay just said. He does Jay run. Jay said somebody else ran before, but I didn't get fucking picked up on. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing Vieira for a while. I know he's suspended, but Arteta did not look happy with him. So you think that's him dropped now that he's been suspended? He will be dropped afterwards? I think if party comes back from injury, I think it's maybe the new year now, which is pushing the boat out. But I think if 
if he doesn't kind of change his way about of those challenges, because he does those challenges quite a lot, and sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But Arteta looked fucking fuming. See, we can't afford def- uh, midfielders to not be there. Party's injured, and then Mohamed Del Neri's always got fucking something wrong with him. Rice, it's Rice. Jorginho's not good enough. To be fair, he had a good game against Burnley, but it was Burnley. But we're running out of midfielders, and then for him to not be there... Oh, yeah, and all the guards got an injury. Or is it fatigue? Or is it fitness? They don't fucking know. So, two questions, then, on the end of that. Um, are you happy with the season so far? Not Arsenal having... No, we're probably at the third... Content. Third of the way? I would say content. Content. And are you still going to win the league? I didn't predict us to win the league. What do you think you're going to win the league then? I didn't realise you'd remember that. Chick, you're going to win the league then. You're a point off the top. You know what? I'm going to stick on my guns because I've done the same last season. It's too early. Even how shaky City look? Shipping City four lo- at the bridge? City looked shaky at the start of, before the World Cup last year. It don't, it don't matter. City so you can, can go on a 20-game What, what I'm trying shoot. to nail down is at what point... All I can say is Spurs won't win the league. At that's what a point? certainty. Yeah, and that's fine. You can, you can take the piss out of Spurs, but I'm going to drill down on this. You can be in you can be in the lead for 200 odd days plus last year, be a point off City with how shaky they look and still not be confident your team's not going to get not going to get close. Yeah. Are you poor then, or is City just too good? City's too good. Right. So your 200 million in the summer doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Right. But you also need to remember. One of the signs we brought in was injured in the very first fucking game. And he looked very promising. And your transferred record signing hasn't been. No, Dalton Rice has been class, but He's one playing. one player cannot transform us into a, a winning no, title challenging my, team. Sorry, my point is you've got uh, £160 team, million pounds worth of player in, on the pitch that you didn't have last season in Declan Rice and Havertz, and you don't think you're any better off. So, let, let me just explain this, right? We are better at the more defensively now. Right. In the midfield. Yeah. We're more solid than what we were last season. Right. Going forward, on the other hand, it's like a fucking pick and mix. Will we score four? Will we score three? Will we score five? No one fucking knows. So how last many points year, did you, you going, need to get ahead of City? Seconds, before, last season, how how many points did you need to get ahead of City before the end of January, would you say? To go, you know what? We're going to win this league. At least four winning points. So, 12. You, so, 12 points as of February. And yeah. then you'd be, you know what? We're going to win the league. Yeah. Right, I'm going to hold you to that. That's fine. I just want to know. I just want to know because I, I, I see a lot of Arsenal fans online chirping up while we're, we're, you know, joint second, joint second. Laughing at Spurs because, you know, they're happy that they were first yeah, for a couple of right. weeks. And I, two I, seconds. I we, I understand. We, we, okay. we didn't do the pod last year, right? So, I couldn't voice this opinion. I think I was possibly one in 1,000 to actually say we aren't going to win the league or there's a big chance we aren't going to win it and say you're going to catch us up. Because mm-hmm. oh, fucking November, every, like all most Arsenal fans are singing we are top of the league and we're going to fucking yep. win it. And I also think that had a me- mentality impact on the players. So they're obviously seeing that online. They're obviously hearing it during the game and they're just sort of thinking, oh, well, we've done the job by fucking February. And we, we hadn't. I think with Devon Rice, it, it, does it give us a better chance? Yes, it does. But without a top class striker to put those goals in, we're still we're still falling short on City. Okay, so then I ask a different question. If you finish third, because I don't think you'll finish above Liverpool either. I'm just going to put that out there, um, and I'll call that early on. I think I called that at the start of the season. I think it'll be City, Liverpool, and then Arsenal. Um, no, I didn't. Did I said Man United. Doesn't matter. Anyway, switch them to. Um, I'll call in Liverpool now. Um, I mean, they were my underachievers, so it depends how what way you fucking look at it, Jay. Um, I think if you finish third and you don't win, it, you don't win any silverware, and you're not kind of the FA Community Shield, so don't give me that shit. Is Arteta good then? Is he is he has he done what's expected, or is at some point the money that he's spending going to have to actually come up with a good of maybe 
I don't know. I know it's been a you bit out of the last 20 years. Win you'll the league. have answers. You'll, you'll have answer. Uh, sorry, you'll have questions to answer regarding that. Is that, is that to you, or do you think you should to, to all Arsenal fans? Oh, I'm, what, not I'm, what, entitled. I'm not no, entitled for answers. I, I'm on about as a fan base as a whole. Yeah. It, whether we like it or not, you have some fans that are delusional as fuck, Ty, and then you have other fans that just kind of just take a backseat approach and just enjoy watching the game. But as a whole collective, we all should be aiming for number one. Yep. Well, we'd, would we get that? Possibly. But if we don't win a trophy this season, like if we don't go far in the Champions League, if we don't, if we don't win the FA Cup and we don't finish in the top two in the Premier League, there is questions to answer. Yeah, that's, this is my Anyone point. You've, re- you've receded. Here's my point. How have I receded? Because I think you're playing worse football than you were last year. I don't think you've won any games as convincing not, as you have last year. It's not attractive. It's not attractive football yeah. as last year. Yeah, so, the, so apart from the two games between, I think, Sheffield United and Bournemouth, who both of them look like they're going to go down anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, I think you've scraped results almost every other week apart from that. Um, I don't think that's ridiculous to say. I just No, I wouldn't say scraped. It's a whole fucking park in the bus malarkey. Is what it is. What I mean we is, score, we score a goal and then we'll sit yeah. back and we concede and then we'll go and try and get a second rather than we score and then we'll go for a second, we'll go for a third and then we'll, well then we'll just kind of sit back and then just. What I mean is, you, you scrape, happens, you scrape Man happens. United. That free one's never a free one. I'm not having it. Um, Spurs, you should have lost. Okay, Chelsea got one. lucky. So like, anyone you've played in the top six, you haven't played Liverpool yet, no. No. Mm. Why do I think Liverpool are next? Uh, no, Liverpool aren't next. I don't think you've got. Um, I've got them all up here. Literally, you've got Brentford away from home. No, I wasn't trying to press you on it. It's just I, I no, see it a lot I, online. I and what I yeah. mean is, I guess, at what point do Arsenal fans turn around and all right, Arteta's done all of this and they got him second and they've been leading two hundred odd days. Well, at what point do you turn around and go, all right, maybe you spent half a billion? There's already fans questioning them. There's already right, okay. fans questioning them saying why are we playing worse than last season and I ask the same questions but I don't go Arteta's the problem for that I don't quite know what the problem is I don't know if it's a fact that you don't think he's over egging it you don't think he's overthinking it no so I think he's trying to do what we done last year but we don't have we don't have the player to fill that Xhaka role you've got Havertz that wants to be more fiber up the pitch. You've got Fabio Vieira who wants to just kind of roam about. You've not got the player that's going to ping back and forth. And unfortunately, you've got Rice there, but Rice has to play this holder because whoever we have isn't good so enough. He's also not except got those passes in his locker. That's just Pardon? a fact. He's not got those passes in his locker. He can't ping a pass at 50 no, no. yards. Um, occasionally he can. Not, not consistently. Um... I th- I I've watched that boy for seven years, and I I don't think he's got that in him. I, I could be I, wrong in a couple of years. Maybe I could be wrong. He could be David Beckham in a couple of years, but I'd be very I surprised. Doubt it. Yeah, I doubt um, it. with with the transfers we brought in, it, yeah, we spent what well, almost two hundred million, or we did spend two hundred million, depending. I don't know how, how much it was. In certain areas, yes, and in certain certain areas, no. So overall. It's a 50 50. Oh, given the politician's answer, you're better. <laughs> it's a 50 50. You're Mate. better. Are you better right now? Are you better? No. Not in my opinion. I'm cruel, almost even. I can spend from what, last season. Million and... Oh, I just, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. I, 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 no, yeah, I honestly do, because it, the only positions we need to actually strengthen in is up top in a backup winger for Saka. I'm sorry, two seconds and the holder, but and I don't understand. No, we don't. Does Inchenko know? No, we don't need to, because when Timber is back, he is going to play right back. Do you win a league with Raya? Um, oh fucking, there's the question. Brentford Raya, yes. Fucking Arsenal Raya, no. <laughs> right. Um, we'll uh, we'll move but, swiftly on, shall we? No. Yeah, you can't do it. It'll be a whole other fucking hour before I finish this fucking segment. So yeah, we're we'll going to. 
I don't, um, no, no, you just ask the questions that I need to fucking explain because I need to fucking get it out. No, you just don't ask. You know, you just you, Ben understands what I mean. You give a politician's answer. Very I'm on the fence. No, I'm not. Well, let's walk down the garden path with this question. <laughs> like, so defensively, brilliant. defensively this season we're better than we were last season. Going forward, though, shocking. All the guards not at his pace. Saka isn't at his pace. Martinelli seems to be doing bits fucking there and then. And Kertia can have one fucking heart trick and it's fucking going to win the ball and door. Fucking Jesus always has a constant injury. Yeah, he's way to Brazil to get assessed, which is brilliant. Finished? I think. Can what? We'll definitely finish top two. So, lads, next pod we're going to do right after the international break, we're going to get Gavin Langard. And we're going to let him do it. Because when he's drunk, he speaks more sense and quicker. Don't know why. <laughs> um, I tell you, we'll go to the West Ham game. Uh, I was fortunate slash unfortunate enough to watch it all. Um, I don't know about you guys. Uh, Want to start off. Brilliant start. I think Forrest didn't know what fucking hit him mm. uh, when we first started. I, I think it was a mixture. I think we, we started very well, knowing that we didn't want three consecutive defeats. But I think they thought we'd sit back and let them have the ball. And I think they were, got a bit shocked when we went for their throats. Um, to ask, I thought that goalkeeper should have done better with that Paqueta shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, that's that's it, fine. Because it's called cool. I wanted to give him props for the shot, but I'd agree. I just yeah, and it's also a lovely well, goal, but it, it's a testament to our game. By the way, if we didn't win that game, is we had about seven opportunities where a player's got yeah. a ball in the centre and an option left and an option right, and they just decided to fucking ping it. Yeah. And it I was pulling my hair out at one point when we weren't winning because you're thinking if we honestly lose this to this not the double championship mob don't really care what they say um, no they are I'm sorry they, they, they genuinely they're so poor it, it take Forest out of their home ground for, for, for form they're shit yeah no I, I, I agree he doesn't agree because he said they'd stay up last year and I was wrong. <laughs> That's why. And they stayed up by a point or so. And... They're staying up this year, aren't um, right. Uh I thought after the goal, we do what West Ham always do. We just sat back. I, 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 to go on about the goal, actually, I think you're lucky to get it. It came from a Forest mistake. Yes. In a, yes. In a, we in have the four goals, players above listen. the ball, Gav. That's not a thing for us. No, no, I completely get that, but at the same time, they haven't impacted on how that pass has went, which is a shit pass. And it's just Noises so hard to back to the you know But the shot, the shot has came in slow motion. Yes. Oh, the the sitting back make... afterwards is just textbook it, noise, isn't it? When that goal's gone in, I thought, that's got to take a fucking bobble, in it? I think it's like it was a bounce in. before. And then the commentator's gone, that's such a good finish. And I'm like, Mm. It, it, it's good that he's found the corner, but it's shocking that the keeper hasn't done better there. If Mark Turner's in goals, he saves that. The land oh. here, American. If he's in goals, he saves that. Um, I thought we had a couple of chances after. We kind of let him off, and then we went back at him. Um, we had a couple of chances after Paqueta first half. This is the problem with Paqueta. First half, amazing. I thought Kudus looked pretty good first half. I think we've we've reared another issue, though. In the sense that Bowen's a good striker, but we need someone on the wing that's willing to run at a man. Because we had Paquetta on the left, we had James Will Prowse through the middle and Kudus on the right. And Kudus and Paquetta don't seem to want to run at someone. They want to always cut inside, mm-hmm. um, which is a problem, I think. Uh, the ref, yeah. I was going to say he had a brilliant game. And then he just turned to absolute shit. I think Bowen had about four fingers up his ass off the centre back <laughs> after the game. He, he kept just getting absolute pummeled, though. I just don't understand. It, I thought it was an Antonio thing. We said this a couple of weeks ago, get Ben, didn't we? Yeah. I said Antonio. It's because he's big. It's because no, it's not. It's he's wearing a West Ham top. Because Bowen was getting flung, absolutely flung. <laughs> one, yeah. one of the times he is literally his shirt is like back to front with how much he's pulling it. And then when he's come off, Bowen's had it back to him. He's called a foul. One of the goals, going like that. One of the Nottingham yeah. Forest goals comes from what I'd say a clumsy challenge from behind where they get the ball. 
And it, well, he doesn't really get the ball. He gets the man enough to get him off the ball. Yeah. And then they immediately turn around and attack. And the ref's just gone, no worries, lads. I just the kept first, going. He's sitting there going, well, what in the fuck is that then? The yeah. first Forest goal was uh, was when the, uh, the the defender shoulder to shoulder Suchek when Suchek came in and got the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then is it? And, and you're like, and you're like, oh, that's not a foul. Then carry on. You're like, hang about. Yeah, if Suchek goes down, who gets the ball after him? Uh, it's a Forest player. We lose it to a Forest player. They play with two, one passing and it, it, two passing. It's goal. What was the one where it's someone goes down? It goes to another one of our players and he gets flattened from behind and then gets picked up. Oh, I've no idea, mate. But that's right Literally, outside the halfway point. The, yeah. Oh, that, mate, you're on about Suchek when it's his first goal. Literally, yes, it, one of Suchek's... our other players gets the ball and gets fucking cleared out and then they just run off and score. I was sitting there going, when I, when I saw it, I was like, right, I understand the referee letting it play on. And then when they scored, I think gone, that's right, VAR will pull that back. No, they don't. All right. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What do I know? It was, I don't know what you thought, Gav. I thought it was, a, it was an obvious foul. Yes, and I don't understand how VR hasn't picked up, is what you're saying. But I think it's also that the fact that the ref and the linesman also aren't actually looking at it is my problem. Do you think how... VAR's called it a shoulder to shoulder? No, I just think they don't care about that sort of thing. Mm. Like, they don't want to make the small little fucking challenges the one fucking big juicy fucking ones that they're going to get in the headlines is the problem and they never get I, them fucking right i uh second half we came back quick again i think Moyes must have had an absolute word because our because we just seemed to after the first goal we just went five yards back five minutes later five yards back five minutes later five yards back yeah and we just kept on receding it in our own half yeah and then we came out and literally just went straight away and it's like forest we're just trying to break up play anytime they got I think they they yeah. their hands all over Paqueta, Kudus, James Will Prowse. Um Yeah. I I'll I'll, I'll I'll take yeah, go on. I was just gonna say I think Suchek was unlucky with one of these shots he's put onto the crossbar. He should have had a hat trick, mate. I d I don't know how it hasn't went in. It's just so unlucky. But it was so poor defensively from Forrest. So no one's looking at it, everyone's going They've got the ball, they've got the ball, we'll push up. One ball over the top and Suchek's like, <laughs> here I fucking I'll, go. I'll go against the, 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 the second Forest goal, because that came again against the run of play. That's, it's so mm. frustrating. We, we, had, we had eight minutes or ten minutes where the referee didn't want to give us anything. Yeah, That was when Bowen was getting flung. And then literally they've gone down our end. Foul, I, I don't know if they've done a foul in the build-up, but you know when you just like, you can just feel it coming? Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, obviously... Bowen, Bowen got the second one? Yeah, Bowen yeah, got the second one. Yeah, he did. Bowen score a header as well. And oh, it's, it's lovely, though, isn't it? It's a good header, doesn't it? It's beautiful. It's yeah, fucking just, tiny. It, it's like, I didn't, I, I didn't even know it went in. So, you know when the, the wide, wide camera angle is? And obviously, you're about <clears> seven <throat> miles away from the pitch in the stand in London Stadium. So, like, the cameras look so far away. And then when it's gone in, you just realise that he's salmoned up in front of that free... Oh. It's it just... just... He's just everything we needed in a centre forward. I think Antonio yeah. must be looking at it going, you know what? I may have fucked up here. That's the way you just need to play, though. You used to do something for 75 minutes, bring Antonio on, and he's just going to run around like a headless fucking chicken. Which, it's not, it's not a useless thing. I don't think he, Antonio was particularly good when he came on. No, but he, but he was just legs. He was just running for this dragon. He ran. <laughs> he fucking ran. That's I know, when you had the fucking podcast back, go fucking listen to yourself with the City game. But you said the exact same thing. No, I said Conor Gallagher, all he is is legs, is what I said. No, no, it was something about somebody else. It wasn't about Gallagher. Frank or fucking Colin or Conor, whatever we're going to call him now. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the, the Suchek miss where he's half volleyed it and it's hit the bar. I, 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 I'm cheering and then I've realised it's, that it's hit the bar and I'm like, I feel so sorry for potato salad. <laughs> ah, but then he got the third, so it's all good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do you know what? It, do you ever just get the feeling that was coming as well? We got about four yeah. corners in a row, and every single corner was on the money, on the money, causing a problem every time. And it's just like, 
Can I just I think that? James Ward Prowse. Got, James Ward Prowse. Yeah. He's got nine assists this year so far. He's unreal. He's the... Like, he's actually unreal. How, how did he not get an England call up? Oh, just it's, yeah. It's the, the last time. But, but oh. yes, yeah, exactly. But, like, it, it's just him and Bowen. It's just him and Bowen. Yeah, no, I agree. I completely agree. But, you uh, know what? Controversial. Bowen's been better than Saka this year so far. So, how come Saka's still getting in the England squad? I know he's meant to be the star boy, I, but Bowen I, has actually done bits for West Ham. Even when he's haven't played well, he's been the shining light. Yeah, he's yeah he's been he's pretty much been good every game. I'd say. Um, I don't know. Hey, I don't think he gets back on that right wing. Although I think Kudus should should go as a cam, not as a right winger. I just prefer him. He never seems to lose the ball. Uh, Kudus, I don't know. I thought he had a bit of a shaky game, for no, being passing, honest. Pass, no, passing-wise, that's fine. Oh, passing dribbling, wise. He just never loses the ball dribbling. Um, um, yeah, but the problem with him, right, he was just taking shots on, and he was always hitting the defender. Like, he wasn't looking for the man. Like, who was it? I think it was Paqueta. He's there. Give him the ball, and he can get it out wide, and you can swing it in, do something. Then no, no, I'm just going to ping it into fucking oh, it's, man. Man, it's about four of them. There's literally about four of them when I'm sitting there thinking we've we've got a man in the centre, and there's an option left and right. One of them, <laughs> one of them highlights when he's passing into Paquette, and all he needs to do is square it back over to Bowen, and Bowen's on a one on one, and he just doesn't pass it. Yeah, it just it gets me at sometimes. It's like Paquette. You saw him getting annoyed in the second half because he starts doing more of this fucking flicky uh, skill shit, which I'm I'm partially right with, but I'm also not because like sometimes it's just a, getting the ball down and playing it. Yeah. Um. There's nothing really to say about Suchek's goal. Suchek's goal. Suchek's goal in it. Fucking Iriola though. Oh, what a fucking save. Have I not got that in my notes? What a save. You're completely I, right. I've not... Uh, I've, he, uh, I think me and you spoke about this uh, the yesterday, Jay. Him and Moise are listening to the pod. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, the only thing he's not done is put Suchek up front. And if no, he does that next week... No, he has. If you go watch it again, because I noticed this in the second half, I went, fucking hell, Suchek's fucking the highest man on the pitch here. I mean, this is... this is He's listening. Get me in, mate. Give him Moisey tactics. We want him out the fucking door. <laughs> get, get, get me anytime I want him, and I'll give you free tactics, mate. Every week. Fuck that. <laughs> Tell him to put Fab up front so we can get him to fuck and get someone else in. I would rather um, take the three points, bud. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, that's us. Oh, this is going to sound so stupid. It's not us safe from relegation yet, and I do honestly look at it like that. I know that sounds stupid, but I, I look at it like that. Um, I one think thing you I do want to add as six-game well, losing streak, and you'll still be safe. Is the uh, the Forest owner? I don't know if anyone knew this, but has actually got beat by West Ham twice in four days because he actually owns Olympiacos as well. So fucking sucky little <laughs> cunt. Um, West Ham are massive, aren't they? Um, yeah, exactly. Um, I think, uh, Joe. What? It's like, I think we're top half the table just now. In just, I think. No, yeah, no, ten, are you? No, ninth. Yeah, we're we're ninth. Oh, and yes. Joe, I, I think if you stop the season right now, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, considering what our predictions were, I think somebody oh, I had think them like getting I fucking relegated. I had a 16th, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I had a 14th. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I had a 13th. I think I think um, I had a second half of the table, like. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't think there's... I, I, I don't mind admitting that. I think I'm all right with that. Um, but international break, obviously. Um <laughs> We'll uh, we'll go for some quick predictions if that's okay for the oh, week after. Um, oh, the week mate, after, that's fine. <laughs> mate, well, sorry, just just to bring it up because Gavin will want to bring it up. Uh, he got very close for the Forest one and very close for the Arsenal Burnley game. Uh, so did Ben, and so did I. Um, I don't believe mate it was anywhere near it. <laughs> oh no, it was for Burnley Arsenal and West Ham Forest. You got two one. Um, I, I had five nil for Newcastle v Bournemouth, and that just <laughs> didn't happen, did it? Um, we uh, the predictions we might as well start off with Arsenal. Um, we'll do a quick if Brent, it's Brentford away. Uh, Gavin, how about you? 2 0 Arsenal, Ben 2 1 Brentford. Right. <laughs> you, you can fuck off with you and your Frank. <laughs> <laughs> like the um, success of West London, but they but take it from us. We they're wrong. No, we don't do well at their ground. I'm calling a two-two. 
I don't think that's a stupid thing to say. I, I think 2 2 is pretty. I think they've got goals in them. I think you lot have got goals in them. Um, and Buemo looked class. He just he looks unreal at the moment. We'll so, go we'll go so, West Ham so Burnley. Kinder, West Ham Burnley at home. Burnley. West Ham Burnley. Um Burnley at home, if that means anything, Ben. Three one. West Ham. Oh yeah. Why did I even need to ask? You're Mr. Fucking Positive on this podcast. Go on, <laughs> Gav. Two now West Ham. Check you, man. It, 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 you know what that is? He's waiting for any West Ham fantasies when he turns up to Liverpool away in a couple of weeks. That's what it is. <laughs> no, not it's just, shirt on. Yeah. no, it's the same as Arsenal. Burnley don't... They, I don't see how they get their goals. Well, I'd I just say, don't. I'd love to say... That, yeah, no, do you know what? We're going to win. Right, I'm gonna Seven, yeah. We're going to win. Right, right, settle. We can't score plus four goals, mate. I've said this. But I'm going to put 4-0. Clip it. 4-0. Oh, that's it. We can't score five, but four will do. <laughs> Honestly, I'm calling it 4-0. I can feel it. Um, And we'll go for Newcastle. Obviously, Matt is not here. Um, Newcastle, Chelsea, and that's at St. James's. 1-1. 1-1? Who scores first? Newcastle. Okay, Ben? 3-2, Chelsea. <sighs> See, I, see, see I, I, I don't know how long their injuries are Newcastle, but I'm going 3 1 Chelsea. I'm going to run away with it. I think Newcastle score first. Love with the fucking mail. Chelsea get one, Newcastle go ahead, and then Chelsea win the game. They come back and score two. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think that's ridiculous to say, actually, as much as I'd like to say it is. Um, ah, 1 1. Solid. Sorry? It's going to be 1 1. It's going to be a solid game. <laughs> Solid game, which means boring game. It'll probably be on TV as well. No, Newcastle. No, I think Newcastle will score meat. first. They'll pitch up the tents and then Chelsea will score a goal and then it'll just be it. And then it'll be both. It'll just be both games. Two seconds. I don't know where he went. It's better to continue, by the way. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um... <laughs> You might need to clip that because me and Ben both just kind of stopped. <laughs> Did that come? Two seconds. Let me just double check that. It's still recording for me. Did it still say 50 odd minutes? Yeah, it's still recording for me as well. And I wanted it, two minutes. Half. Yeah. Right, two seconds. So, so we're going in an initial break next week. Uh, this week, sorry. Last one till February, I think. Yes. Yeah, so we go through the Thank Christmas period. Fuck. We're going to do something a bit different for the Christmas period. Not decided what yet, just because obviously there'll be games what every three odd days, wouldn't there? Yeah, for the Christmas period. So probably do once a week, but also some sprinklings of of some other stuff because we also have Arsenal during that festive period. No, um, it's not Christmas uh, Boxing Day. Uh, yes, I believe it is. It's always Boxing Day or the twenty seventh yeah. or something. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, and. Uh, yeah, Arsenal apparently going to win the league. Ask Gav. Cheers, lads. How the fuck did I say this?